Parthenium is a highly invasive plant species. It threatens agricultural productivity, biodiversity and human and animal health wherever it takes root. In Pakistan, it is known as famine weed because of its devastating impact on crop yields and livelihoods. However, the range of Parthenium spread in Pakistan is largely unknown. Could the answer to this problem come from space? The link between astronomy and agriculture might seem distant in the first uh, place, but it's actually more logical than we might think. A problem like an invasive weed, such as Parthenium, uh, which spreads over the entire South Asian subcontinent, requires a global approach, such as using satellite observations. So normally an astronomer like myself uses telescopes to look at the very distant universe. But in fact, we can use them to uh, look back down at the Earth and use our skills with data analysis to um, try and find new innovative solutions to this problem. The University of Manchester team approached us looking for a partner that had a really grounded understanding of global challenges in agriculture and the environment. We decided to work on Parthenium in Pakistan, both because it's such a devastating problem and because we would be able to build on the work that CABI's Action on Invasives program was already doing to address it. We brought a wide range of expertise from different areas of CABI, including invasive species management, environmental suitability modeling, geospatial analysis, local partnerships, and ground truthing. Ground truth uh, allows image data to be related to real features and materials on the ground. Ground truth data enables calibration of remote sensing data and helps in the interpretation and analysis of the what is being sensed. The new generation of Earth observation data provided the opportunity to identify Parthenium at a large scale across Pakistan. Although there are some established methods for using remote sensing in agriculture, the technology has largely remained unexplored when it comes to invasive weeds. For this project, we use data provided by Sentinel-2, which is a European Space Agency mission currently comprising two satellites. The optical cameras on board are capable of seeing details up to 10 meters in size on the ground in 12 different colors. The challenge of tracking Parthenium from space is using what we call big data techniques. First, we need to process a large volume of images that is collected by the Sentinel-2 satellites. Then, we need to actually find Parthenium in these images, and it's not an easy task. If we think about it, we're basically trying to spot a green plant that's hiding amongst other green plants. So, uh, to do that, we use um, tools such as artificial intelligence. And the idea is basically to teach a computer program to automatically recognize the features of Parthenium amongst other features from other plants in the data. The data from Sentinel-2 had to be validated by comparing it with data measured on the ground. But with such a large geographic area to cover, an innovative approach was required. Okpai is a camera we built here at the University of Manchester. It can collect images in six different colors simultaneously and be mounted under a quadcopter. The motivation for building Okpai was to enhance the ground data collected by the CABI team. The idea is to fly it over a field containing Parthenium and other plants, and then use the data to feed into the artificial intelligence program directly and train it better to identify Parthenium. The ground truthing confirmed that hyperspectral data can discern Parthenium from crops and other plant species. Static maps show the current extent of the weed at field and landscape levels. So, what has this project demonstrated? This project has delivered concrete outputs that are useful today for decision makers in Pakistan, but it's also developed improved methods for mapping and modeling the distribution of Parthenium that serve to demonstrate what's possible. A lot of the power in remote sensing technologies is in the scale. You can monitor and analyze what's going on over much larger regions at a much lower cost than with conventional methods. It's also super useful for reaching remote and inaccessible areas, which is a really powerful thing, particularly for supporting underserved populations. Our changing climate 
is increasing the threat that invasive plant species pose to global food security. With the continued development of this technology, the mapping and monitoring of Parthenium in Pakistan can pave the way for its application to other geographies and species, allowing rural communities around the world to benefit.